and heralding the 50th anniversary of an eco-friendly company that was green way before going green was cool. Those stories are more next on NJTV News. Live from the Agnes Barris NJTV studio at 2 Gateway Center in Newark, this is NJTV News with Mary Alice Williams. As part of our ongoing series of reports, Peril and Promise, the Challenge of Climate Change, Brianna Venosi reports on the anniversary of a manufacturing plant that's been Earth-friendly for 50 years. Conveyor belts lined with all-purpose cleaner bottles are being filled and prepped for shipping. It's just one out of more than 200 plant-based cleaning agents developed and manufactured at the Earth Friendly Products facility in Parsippany. We're the only company in the nation to achieve the triple crown in sustainability, and that includes water neutrality, carbon neutrality, and platinum zero waste. The company is celebrating its 50th anniversary in conjunction with Global Earth Day events as one of its earliest supporters. Kelly Vlahakis, Hank's father, started the line in the late 60s as a visionary in the eco-friendly product space during a time when green was simply a color. He was the first to use orange oil in products and enzymes in products and all sorts of innovative things. Today, the family-owned and operated business sells its products in 62 countries, with four sustainable manufacturing sites in the U.S. New Jersey is one of the newest. It helped usher in the EPA's Safer Choice Partner of the Year Award twice. One way that we cut down costs but also ensure that they're safe is using less chemicals to achieve the same result. So instead of putting in a blue dye that actually doesn't do something in the product or a fragrance that just masks odors, we really try to utilize plant power that have dual purposes. An example I like to give is in our toilet bowl cleaner, we actually use a cedar wood oil, which seems like an interesting choice, but cedar trees actually grow in highly dense foggy areas, so they have adapted natural antifungal properties. Every pole that we've done and, and that we've seen has shown that the American public wants to know what's in their products. They want to know who's making their products, but most importantly, they've understood the connection between hazardous chemicals and their health. David Levine of the American Sustainable Business Council believes Earth-Friendly Products is the blueprint for the future of manufacturing. The company is helping launch New Jersey's first Sustainable Business Council and guiding national work. Which is to drive on, on good policy as well as large market shifts to get us to that kind of economy that understands that you could take care of the earth, you could take care of your employees, and you could be profitable as a business. But the company is hoping to break more green barriers. I actually am hoping to have a little more regulation in terms of product labeling because as it stands today, there is no requirement for household products labeling. So unlike Europe and Asia where you can look at the back of your product and know what's in the cleaning product, the United States hasn't taken that stand yet. For businesses and manufacturers to succeed in the future, leaders at this company say they'll have to fall in line with the demands of the eco-minded consumer and practice what they've dubbed the three P's. That's people, planet, and profit. In Parsippany, Brianna Venosi, NJTV News.